Let's talk a little bit more about the scientific basis of the scripture. The Judeo-Christian scriptures warn people not to inbreed, not to have incestuous relationships within families. That was known long before genetic science. God knew things and said, don't inbreed. And of course, we know that when people do inbreed, they are going to procreate children that will be much more predisposed to congenital illness, long before we knew about genetic science. If that same God is the God of the Koran, he should know the same things as the God of the Bible. So they asked Mohammed, why does a child resemble its father and why does it resemble his maternal uncle? Allah's apostle said, Gabriel just now told me of their answers. And Abdullah said, he from among all the angels is the enemy of the Jews. Well, not according to the New Testament, but that's what the Hadith teaches. Bukhari, volume 4, number 546. Allah's apostle said the following. As for the resemblance of the child to its parents, if a man has sexual intercourse with his wife and reaches his climax first, the child will resemble the father. If the woman experiences sexual orgasm first, the child will resemble her. That accounts for which parent the kid's going to look like? <laughs> that is what your religion teaches. Now, God understands about X and Y chromosomes. He understood about recombinant DNA before Watson and Crick. In fact, God invented recombinant DNA. It was his idea. Scientifically, there's another explanation. And biblically, before we knew about recombinant DNA, God was warning people about certain things like genetically transmitted disease. That is what accounts for resemblance.